Hello there and welcome to the Coffee with Colin and thank you for joining me. We've spoken over the last number of weeks about some of the principles that we teach in Wigwam, Wigwam Work, Play, Live. It's the coaching business that myself and Michelle Barry operate. And uh, in week one of this particular series of Coffee with Colin, we spoke about 1% living. The fact that 1% of your day is 15 minutes, well, 14.4 to be precise, but you get the picture. And if you want to change something about your life, well, then if you invest 1% of your day into making that change proactively, well, then you can make a difference, particularly if you win the week and win the war. And you can win the week by doing something proactively four times over seven. Uh, you know, you do it more often than you don't do it. So if you do something for 15 minutes proactively per day for four days in the week, you can begin to affect change in some area of your life. And last week, we spoke about 81 patchwork quilts. We spoke about the idea that the week is the perfect patch in the fabric of life. Every single week of your life, is the same size and shape, seven days, 24 hours, 168 hours in total. And 52 of these weeks stitched together form a year. And because as you know, that every single week of your life is different in tone and color and texture to the last, even though it's exactly the same size, we use the analogy that uh, one year looks like a beautifully colored, elaborate uh, patchwork quilt. And you have 81 of them on this side of the world. The average lifespan is 81 across male and female. So on the basis that you've got 81 patchwork quilts, the question that I was asking last week was, how many patchwork quilts have you discarded to date? How many do you have remaining? And what are you going to do with them to make them even more beautiful than the last number? So uh, the idea today is to get you to think about those patchwork quilts and to imagine a time in your future where you're just beginning to live under your 81st patchwork quilt. And we spoke about the fact that we would like to have you live under your 81st patchwork quilt in good stead, happy and healthy and wealthy and all those things. So in Wigwam, we speak about the four pillars, health, wealth, relationships and spirit, work, play, live. It's all about work-life balance. Work-life balance, by the way, is the new getting ahead. Let's just agree on that now. Work-life balance is the new getting ahead. And on that basis, I'm going to propose something to you this week around the roles you play in your life. I'm going to propose something to you around the roles that you play in your life. You are more than just a means unto an end. You are more than just a unit of measurement. You are more than just a unit of production. You are more than just your job or your career or your business. You play more roles than that of provider. So what I'd like you to do, please, is take a pen and paper out and over your cup of coffee with me this morning, I want you to scribble down a couple of the roles that you play in your, li in your life. You're likely or maybe a provider. And oftentimes when we conduct this exercise in a Wigwam program, oftentimes people refer to the role of provider first, the role of professional first. I'm a doctor, I'm an engineer, I'm an accountant, I'm a, a department manager, whatever it might be. And oftentimes that's the role that gets written down first. So it won't surprise me if you do the same. However, that accountant is more than just an accountant. That accountant is perhaps a father or a son or a husband or a wife or a volunteer in the teaching kids how to play football at weekends or as a member of the choir or as a member of a church or is a brother or a sister or a friend or whatever, right? All those are the roles. So what I want you to do is take a few minutes, please. Pause the video. Pause the podcast. And just write down all the roles, all the hats that you wear in any given week, in any given month, in any given year. What are they? Pause the program now and come back to it in just a few minutes. So I hope that you've taken a few moments now just to scribble down uh, a few words that describe the roles that you play in your life. Because as I said earlier, you're not just a unit of production. You're a human being and uh, your world intersects with so many others in your world. So question is, what roles do you fulfill? And what I want you to do now, please, is consider those roles in the light of uh, you lying under perfectly happy under your 81st patchwork quilt as you enjoy life in your later years. And you're looking back on your life, your character is fully revealed, your contribution has been wholly offered at this stage. And the question I really want to pose for you as you look backwards from the vantage point of your cozy 81st patchwork quilt is from this vantage point, your 81st patchwork quilt, which of those roles that you've written down on a page today are actually the most important?
Big question, which of those roles from the vantage point of your 81st patchwork quilt, looking back in your life, have proven themselves to have been actually the most important roles? What's the number one most important role in your life? Put a number one against that role on your piece of paper. And I'll ask you the question, is having been an accountant more important than having been a parent from the vantage point of your 81st patchwork quilt? For many, the answer is no. So I want, you to, I want you to decide for yourself now which of the roles that you've written down was the most important role that you would have fulfilled in the 80 years to your 81st patchwork quilt. Put a number two against the second most important role. Put a number three against the third most important role. And so on down that list if you so choose. But really, we want you to focus on the top three roles. What are the top three roles that you really have to fulfill in your life from the vantage point of your 81st patchwork quilt looking backwards. What are your top three roles? And order them one, two, and three. And then what I want you to do, please, is decide what one thing you could do next week in the next seven days that would have the biggest positive impact on those top, top three roles. And then I want you simply to commit to doing that one thing. Do that one thing in your 15 minutes, your 1% living, four times in the next week, right? Do something proactively over the next week to have a positive impact on those top three roles that you've identified in your life. And thank you for joining me for this week's Coffee with Column. I hope and trust as ever you got something from it. Please consider what's been shared here today and apply it into your thinking for this next seven days. And then very importantly, come back next week and we'll share another coffee together and I'll ruminate on some other aspect of life and business. Between now and then, Get some great coffee for sure. Get some fresh air, get some or and or. If you spend too much time alone, I recommend you go meet some people, even if that's online. If you spend too much time with people, I recommend you take some time out and get to know yourself a little. And then when the time is right, and only when the time is right, get your head back in the game, get organized for the week ahead, get stuck in, make next week count, win the week, win the war, 1% living, look at the roles you play. And I'll see you here this time next week for another Coffee with Colin. Slaunch it. Oh, I really love great coffee. Talk to you soon. Take care. Bye for now.